Whoa, what a cool portable stereo. Here we are, we're inside. Do the intro a bit later. Here we're looking at uh, one of the booths and there's a Santa Claus and he is a bit different than some people might expect. Some still Artois glasses. I think they came with beer cases at one point. So he's uh, not what we always see. And neither is she. They're curious bits of uh, anomaly. We are at the Brudem's Antique and Flea Market. It's over just off the QE. We're still in the South Building. This is a second video for the South Building. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Pop. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. And here we are. So we're continuing inside the uh, South Building. This is primarily basement and upper level. I'm not going to say which one's on what level. Some of it may be jumbled, some of it. And I'm not sure which one's from which level, to be honest. The lower level from, from the entrance does have windows, so it's not that it's a basement in this case. I think it's a former outbuilding barn kind of setup. The upper level is, is um, not very large. Some of these um, little little figurines that came in tea packages way back. So we're wandering through. This one's a bit of a mishmash of uh, different kinds of things from uh, metal statuary to art to uh, glass and so on and so forth so each, each one has a, a different focus and some have less focus than others some are extremely narrow focused here we've got some these are actually metal signs they're not uh, comics themselves they've just they lithographed a onto a metal sign. So yes, they've got some more contemporary items and mixed in with vintage and antiques. So you never know what you're going to find at one of these markets. Including people sitting there quietly. sewing machine, treadle type. That one actually even had a belt attached. Yeah. It's one of the old leather travel bags. There's a Biltmore box there. You'll be seeing some stills of it. A uh, round Biltmore box we just passed over. Interesting uh, ceramics. Then you have the um, 
washing machine. I would place that into the 60s from the color that it has. May, I may be incorrect, but that's my guess. That's the era when 50s and 60s had included that color in their palette. Here's the round one that we passed over as a still, as just a lid for it. There's the octagonal one that was up top and the round one's at the bottom corner there. Biltmore was in Guelph. And there's that washing machine. It's a browns. Now this is a projector. I didn't pull it out to check to see if it was an opaque projector, if it was a uh, slide projector or large format slide projector even. They all exist. No, there's the octagonal one. There's a second one. It's not the same one because if you look carefully, it has a label on the top of this one and it has whom it is for and where it is from. And this one is from Welland which isn't very far from this uh, market's location. Well, and was a happening place at the time. Their downtown's seen better days. Some interesting sculptures that they have there. Ceramics. Some are more collectible than others. And this this is an oxygen bottle case. I'm not going to guess at the vintage of it. The uh, globes you can always check to see which countries are there, which ones aren't. Here we are, we're actually on the um, upper level of the store. We're looking down a bit of a, from a bit of a bridge and there's a treadle type sewing machine, or if it isn't treadle, it might be electric. I just had the lid lifted up the lid. One of those M&M &M characters. Some, some of them have a little accessory and its value is diminished without the accessory but finding the accessories by themselves can be a challenge uh, C3PO he's got some interesting interesting memorabilia here collection of uh, various old bottles and some of them have their paper labels on still. There's a number of people that go around digging up various places looking for bottles and some of I'm not sure if they sell them, give them to a museum, I honestly don't know. There's one young kid who actually does it too. I think he does it to sell some of them. LPs. Some interesting ones in there. Oh, uh, player's tobacco and cigarette tin. You didn't get it as a curtain, you got it as a, in a tin. Magenta, 
mid-century type uh, lamp there with some older ones as well. Now they may not be from exactly from the era, they may be reproductions or uh, go-withs as some people will call them. Mountain Dew. I like their old bottles. I don't like the newer ones so much. U.S. formula is very different from the Canadian one. U.S. formula includes orange juice on Canada's does not. Although they taste the same either way. And there's that globe or another globe. And they wooden toboggan it was in the winter time so kind of made sense they wanted $75 I think it's a four or five foot long one five foot I think four feet of which you can only use unless you stick your feet into the curled area There's some black label, which is a, a beer brand that I haven't seen some time. It had some memorable commercials. soft drink bottles, milk and cream bottles. So, ah yes, the canning jars. And we continue with these pints or milk or cream. I, I remember when we'd go out sometimes we'd get the chocolate milk in one of those in a dairy bar. This one had some ephemera as well. Kind of like the uh, little white beads that they put inside the milk bottle, so it's really easier to see some of the labels. O'Keefe, Toronto. Now that's a big beer bottle. I suspect it was more like a case that you'd. situation where you'd get it for a party or a picnic. Some glass insulators there for telegraph poles, electric wiring. Nice collection of uh, walking sticks, canes. Glassware, ceramics, milk glass as well in there. Cast iron pot, cornbread making pan. Now this one is uh, full size. 
you saw the previous video for this lo same location, you saw the salesman sample or you can compare my finger size to the pan. Nice rabbit with ears down though. Cast iron little uh, lantern type of thing. Huh. Retro or vintage uh, I, I, um, mixer, blender. Same company made them originally and reproduced them themselves. Or rather, produced them again, not reproduced. They, although it's still the correct word, but it has different connotations when you say reproduced. Nice watering can. Another globe. 65 or 85 dollars there the scarab now that's an interesting vehicle uh, some receipts that have been framed up sun oil refining limited and it was sent to somebody the Texas company, Texaco. Something else. McCall Brothers for lubrications. Hendring Company, Cartage. This is a receipt. These have mostly been receipts so far. And of course, the humorous bit here is the. Uh, name of the place in, in Pennsylvania the cast iron water pot these would have been kept on the uh, wood burning coal burning stove instead of one of the uh, flat plates and uh, nice lamp I'm not sure if it was original 40s era and if you like this type of uh, ceramics there's one for you now this caught my eye. I don't think it was for sale because they were listening to it. It's a CD, it's a boombox, but shaped like a Lego. Well, thanks for this, watching this tour. Hope you enjoyed it. Wouldn't have, I'd would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up and a subscribe. And thanks, take care, bye-bye.